felt good to be back in the pavilion. <clears throat> I just want to make a public statement about our fans. They've really been stepping up, and, uh, and now our players are used to having them there and wanting to play in front of, of, of them. Still teaching them how to get the defense chant going, uh, but I know they enjoy the games and we feel their support and love. We've come a long way. I was talking to the game was over and the officials, uh, she was saying, you know, yo, I've refed a lot of your games. It's incredible where the program has come and, and it's so true. So. I'd be remiss if I didn't mention that um, our fan support is 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 appreciated and uh, it's become a normalcy and um, that means a lot um, because I did challenge everybody. We had the mayor at the game. Everybody came out and our guest coaches. It was just phenomenal. So uh, really happy about how we responded from our last game. Uh, we really needed to come back and show uh, what Ole Miss women's basketball is about. And so, um, you know, I thought it was a, it was a great game for uh, us for 40 minutes. Yeah, uh, I think that was a season low for them points-wise. They came in averaging about right. 72. Mm -hmm. um, how do you take a team so far out of what it likes to do? Especially, you know, this is an SEC team, mm -hmm. this is a good team. How do you take them out of, 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 of what they want to do? Well, um, you know, when we were at Tennessee, they asked us the same thing because we held Tennessee to its second lowest percentage all year. And I'm like, that's what we do, we defend. We've held Utah, Oklahoma, high-powered offenses, Arkansas. We're not afraid of high-power offenses. If you look at our schedule in the non-conference, we intentionally played two teams, one averaged at the time 100 and one averaged 95, and we held them in the 60s. So we defend. Um, now, we may not make a layup, and we may have some empty possessions on offense, but we're going to guard, and that is who we are, and that's what we're going to always be about. What did you see in that fourth quarter? Or kind of what did you tell them in, the, in between the third and fourth to, where they kind of turned it up there? So we were just seeing pink. You know, we were seeing pink. Uh, you know, I talked about, you know, this, this, this is just not a game where we just want to wear uh, pretty uniforms. This is a game uh, to honor the people uh, that fought have lost and won and, and still fighting, and also to bring awareness to breast cancer. Um, that's what Play for K is about. And I talked about the people that have those opportunities, they fight. And so the only way we could pay our respects to that and to bring awareness in the right way is for us to fight for 40 minutes, and that's what you saw. 13 out of 14 that Maddie's had double figures. So have you seen her be more aggressive or make it a, a concerted effort to do that? Yeah, I mean, we've just been challenging everybody on our team to, to just do their job. And Maddie, uh, for sure, um, wants to do that. Maddie loves his team. I think everybody knows that. Um, and we've just been challenging her to come, to step up. You know, even like Marquisha, um, she played one of her worst games. Well, she had 15 and 3. You know, so we've been, this this is the time of the year when teams either make a push or they flame out. And we have no intent to flame out right now. We want to go to the NCAA tournament. Right now we're excited that we're two and one in this pod. We get a week off, we're gonna be fresh and we wanna close the pod out with a good game uh, versus Kentucky at home. Talking about the tournament, you've got that number that coaches look at. I know you have a different number. Yeah. But getting to this number now, yeah. Well, how yeah, big eight. is that? It's for just to kind of have that in your back pocket. For we're the at eight. That's where we're at. Yeah, I mean, I feel great about it. I told you nine. So, um, but I'll take 10 or 11. Uh, <laughs> uh, so, we still got work to do. Um, but but I, I love where we're at. And um, here's the thing. Um, when we lost... A lottery pick. A lot of people, you know, felt like it was it was over for Ole Miss women's basketball, and we would take a step back. I would hear people say, uh, "Maybe you may take a step back," and and that's okay. But this program is not made by one person. This program is has been built from day one. Y'all have been here with me. You know, I told y'all about the four year process, and then I told y'all now we're not rebuilding, it's just reconstruction. And um, this is a true example and a sign of that, that um, what my staff and, and the administration and what 
what I've set out to do is build a program. So no matter who leaves, who comes, we're going to defend, we're going to rebound, we're going to run and share the ball. And I'm just really excited. And I, and I don't think this program has even – touched its climax so we it's no ceilings right it's we still have a lot of room to grow I still believe that one day we will always sell out the lower bowl and and beyond and we just have to continue to uh, put out a good product on the floor just knowing that uh, coming off the Tennessee game and knowing that you were going to have not like a bye week but a mm. week off how, how how important was this going into going into that week off I tell you what for my sanity it was great because I, 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 I was sick after the Bama loss, and, we, and I had to sit on that for, for a week. Um, but, uh, you know, that Tennessee game was a learning lesson for us. We've had a lot of firsts. You know, I, I know people, I haven't been on social media, but uh, we're going to be able to, to knock out the Tennessees and so on and so forth. Uh, uh, and we had a chance, and we just didn't show up, you know. And... Um, you know, Tennessee has been doing it since Pat has been there. You know, we're five years in and people expect us to do it right now. And that's a good thing. And so we're going to continue to have those expectations and try to rise to it. You know, I asked Maddie and, and Angel this. I'll ask you, obviously you want to win that game in Knoxville, but having where you positioned yourself at this point in the season, was it easier for them to kind of shake it off and bounce back knowing what you got from you? Yeah, I mean, it was easier. I mean, we had some tough conversations after that game. Um, because I don't ever want my team to feel like they don't belong um, just because we're not that name brand. We're building just like Pat Summit built back in the day, Gino Ariema, Don Staley, and, and Yo is here, and Yo is in year five. And so I don't ever want, when we step on the floor and we represent Ole Miss, people expect us to play at a high level and they expect us to fight. And so I was incredibly disappointed with – how we uh, approach that game from a mental standpoint. Uh, but like I said in Knoxville, it would have been a lame way for us to go out. We still had more games, and this is an example of what we can be and where we're trying to go. A couple of those losses, uh, like especially Alabama, kind of comes to mind. You really harped on energy. And, yeah. you know, today until the clock hit zero, you were clapping on defense when you were getting jump balls and everything. Just how do you kind of keep that game in and game out and not have those, you know, yeah. Well, that's, that's leadership from my team. You know, this is my program, but this is this is their team. And so they have to want to do that, you know, And because I'm going to bring it every day, and my staff's going to bring it every day. But the other part of this, this relationship is they have to bring it every day. And so I thought that they were incredibly intentional about doing that. And then, I mean, this is one of the most complete games y'all played in a while, other than yeah. free throw shooting. But, <laughs> but um you know, what's that, what's that kind of say about this team and what the ceiling is for this team? It says that there are no ceilings. It says that this is not our best game. We're going to continue to build. We're going to continue uh, to put out a product that people want to come and support, and we're going to uh, continue to represent Ole Miss. Anything else for Coach? Great. Thanks Thank you. Thanks, Coach.